Hey guys, I'm Jessie and you're watching Fox Sales. So today I'm going to be doing my July wrap up and my August TBR list. So let's jump right in. Good. Don't mind this. There, there, there were books here and now they're down there because they're in my pile to show you. So there's a space. Okay, let's go. The first book I read in the month of July is My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. I really enjoyed this book. It was a really cute and just adorable summer romance contemporary and I, I, I loved the characters. I thought they were so cute. I really enjoyed this book. It, it was a great way to kick off my July. It was just a cute summer contemporary and I haven't read a contemporary in a while so it, it, was, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. The next book I read is Looking for Alaska by John Green. I'm sure you all have heard of it because I mean it's Looking for Alaska by John Green. I, I I did enjoy this book. I thought Alaska was so cool. Like I, I wanted to be her friend. I wanted I wanted to talk about things with her and I wanted to I wanted to know all the books on her shelves and I, I thought she was a really cool character. I wasn't as cool about um Miles. I found him kind of annoying at times. I was kinda of like, dude, people are going through through things too, so yeah. Overall I still really enjoyed this book. The next book I read is the Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ada Lavender by Leslie Walton. And let's just take a moment to appreciate the beautiful cover that is this book. I mean, look at it. It sparkles and shimmers and the text is just, it's gorgeous. And this book was strange and it was beautiful. The writing was absolutely gorgeous. I really liked the words and the descriptiveness of it. But the story was kind of strange. It's about a girl who was born with bird wings on her back. And I would have thought the whole book would have been about her, but it was really about her whole generation of her family up until, like, her great-grandmother. Which was cool, but between the book title and the synopsis, I wasn't quite expecting that. And found it to be kind of... Hmm, I had really high expectations for it, and it kind of, kind of fell flat for me. The next three books I read is The Selection, The Elite and the one all by Kara class in the selection trilogy i really enjoyed these books i thought they were so cute they were such a summer so summer reading super cute story they were just i loved them and i loved prince max and he was just he was gorgeous and i loved him and it was it was amazing so i really enjoyed these books I was so happy I read them. I mean, I read the first one in 24 hours, and then I read the next, it took me like two days. I am definitely going to be doing a full book review on this trilogy because I just, I adored them. The last book I read in the month of July is Say What You Will by Kimmy McGovern. And I just, oh, I wanna, I wanted to give this, this book a hug and just hug the characters. It's, it's so, it's written so well. It's about a girl with cerebral palsy and a boy with OCD and their relationship and how they grow with each other and just how they make each other better. And it, she wrote so well about physical disabilities and mental disabilities and I definitely recommend it for everyone to read. It was such a good book. The first half of the book I really absolutely adored and the second half I was kind of like eh. Like, the ending came up how I wanted it to be, but the plot twist in the second half of the book, I felt like they could have been thought out better, maybe. It just wasn't quite what I was expecting, and not that it's a bad thing, I just thought it could have been better. But overall, it was definitely an amazing book, and I definitely recommend it for everyone. Everyone should read this book. It, it, it was so good. It was so good. So the first book on my TBR list for August is Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. And I haven't read... The Infernal Devices trilogy, so I'm reading the, the Mortal Instruments. They're my babies and I love them and I haven't read Steve Heavenly Fire yet because I was told I have to read the Infernal Devices because because they go together and yeah, so I'm gonna read it. And I've actually heard a lot of people like the Infernal Devices better than the Mortal Instruments, but we'll see if that's true for me because because Jace is <sighs> I just smile when I think about him because he's He's Jason. 
I love him. He's amazing. So, yeah. And then I'm going to read the other two books in this trilogy, which I'm planning on. I don't have them right now because I don't have them, but I'm planning on reading them. So there's like, picture two more books here, because I'm going to read them. The next book, I'm kind of embarrassed I haven't read it yet, and that's The Maze Runner by James Dashner. I haven't read it yet, but I just went to the bookstore to get it because I saw the trailer for the movie and, and, and it looked really good and I was like, I should read the book. So I'm going to have the book and I'm going to read it and we'll see what I think. The next book on my TBR list is The Night Circus by Aaron Morgan, Morgan Stern. Aaron Morgan Stern. And I love, I love book covers that are like, I mean, how cool is that? I think it's cool. I don't even know what it's about though. I'm, I'm guessing a circus at night. I had a friend recommend this to me and it's been sitting on my shelf for a year so it finally made it into my TBR pile and I'm actually really excited to read it because those are my books for the months. So do you want to see the books? Let's, let, let's look at the books. Now you gotta picture two more books. Well, pro pro maybe three more books because these are all the books from last month and the books for this month. So, so yes, look at all the books. Aren't they so pretty? Okay, ready, ready. Let's do this. Woo! I'm, they're not falling. They're not falling. They're, 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 they're falling. They're falling. I'm gonna go. These, these are kind of heavy. Okay. Bye, guys.